Willie Kemp gives off Dozier. Tagger kicks out, and Kemp way off the mark. They're only 24% from three to start the season. But every time they needed somebody to step up and shoot the threes, Daniel Mack hit five threes in that first game, and then Willie Kemp came off the bench and was able to knock down some perimeter jump shots. Love with a jumper, Jason Love, the junior from Philadelphia. Well, he really usually helps you in the paint, so that's not a common occurrence, but he'll take it. Ooh. Found the floor, they get Derek Brown. And the first on Brown. You know what's interesting, guys? I asked our stat people here at the tournament to compile all eight teams' cumulative three-point shooting so far early in the year. And right now, it's under 31%. So those people that said the arc was not going to be much of a factor, I agree with what you said in the first game, John. Coaches are going to really have to coach shot selection on that. That was Seth Greenberg saying it's going to go from a democracy to a dictatorship. And you determine who's got the green light, who's got the yellow light, and who's got the red light. And I am definitely the red light amongst this group. Dozier gets a three. How about that? Big fella steps outside. That's one of the things that he worked on over the summer. He was one of the guys from Memphis along with Antonio Anderson that went into the NBA draft to test the water. He came back, got into the weight room, added more weight, and wanted to improve his outside jump shot. That's a great rule, too, you know, to be able to have NBA guys tell you what your weaknesses are. And uh, instead of having to go to the D-League, he gets to come back to college for a year. That's where he probably would have ended up. I like Hubert's point. If you have to ask, you're not ready. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but don't tell these players that. Shot clock winding down. Anderson has it knocked away. Shot clock violation. And there's that outstanding Memphis defense. 15.26 to go, first half. Xavier leading this one by three as Robert Dozier drains the long one. Xavier leading it by three. John Calipari, ninth year as head man at Memphis, 16th overall. But the connection with Sean Miller, he's a Pittsburgh guy. Well, it goes even beyond that, as you know, John, because uh, Sean Miller's family and the Calipari's, very close. John Calipari spent many a summer up at the Miller house, the, the grandmother, and John recruited Sean Miller to go to Pittsburgh back in 1987. They're, they're as close as brothers, and there you see John Miller, who John Calipari used to play for in the summertime. So John uh, Miller, an outstanding coach at Black Hawk High School, Coach Dante Calabria. He went that one played at North Carolina. I know Hubert likes that. But he's one of the legends in high school coaching, and that, those two families go way back. Evans has it swatted away. Fight for the loose ball. Look at these two teams get after it. It'll be Memphis ball just to finish on Sean Miller. I didn't know it was him at the time, but you remember the TV show That's Incredible? And Sean Miller put on the dribbling display when he was just a kid. Yeah, I remember that. I, I, he might have even been on the Johnny Carson show as well because his dad used to teach him all the ball handling trick. Man, if he taught you, you'd still be in the league. <laughs> Actually, I played with Coach Sean Miller in the World University team in 1991. P.J. Carlissimo was the head coach. Uh, coach Roy Williams was the assistant coach. We went over to Sheffield, England, and won the gold medal. And that was the last international college basketball team that won a gold medal before they went to the NBA team. Wow. That's good stuff. You didn't tell me that before the game. You were holding out on I was holding out on I pulled that one out of my pocket. <laughs> Dozier's two a little short. Xavier basketball. Musketeers by three. And the freshman Terrell Holloway into the game. Exploding to the goal, and he's fouled. He'll go to the line where he's knocked down a lot of big shots so far in Puerto Rico. Well, how about the fact that, uh, yeah, absolutely. Take a look at how he gets into the lane, watch the body contact, and still hangs in the air, able to shoot those two free throws. By the way, we mentioned that Missouri win 10 for 10 from the line in that game against Missouri. Well, you look at Xavier, and the number one question mark is, 
how are they going to replace Drew Lavin at the point guard position? That Missouri game, when I was watching, what I was really impressed by this freshman was he wanted the ball towards the end of the game. He was a guy that said, everybody clear out, give me the basketball, let's get into a set, and let's make a play. And to have that type of the definitive move from a freshman in a big-time situation against a very talented Missouri team, I thought was really impressive. You know what I like about that, too, is Sean Miller, who, as you know, was a terrific point guard.